Morning, Dave. Morning, Spec. Um, more news on the COVID front out of Vancouver. And, you know, you got a couple games against them coming up in, I would say, the week after this one. Who knows if they're affected or not. But how yeah. do you, you know, you ever seen anything like this? What do you think about it? Well, I'm trying to think about Calgary right now. Let's get let's get Calgary tonight. But uh, there's obviously going to be some more adjustments to the schedule with the game canceled tomorrow. Uh, again, we, you know, we went through it last week. You just got to read and react. Just make sure you stay Control what you can control, and that's when they tell us to play, that's when we'll play. And if we got to travel again, we'll travel. But you just got to you just got to keep pounding away. Take care of yourself. You're kind of getting the short end of the stick in that goofy road trip you had out east. You only got the three games. You come home now, you only get one game. You're going back out again. Yeah. Uh, I know that your attitude is, you know, you don't want your team feeling sorry for itself, even if you're getting the short end of the stick. How do you handle that? Well, you just confront it head on. Like if you feel sorry for yourself, you're going to be behind. You might as well do deal what you can deal with. And that's how we play, how we control our emotions, you know, how we go about our day to day. You got to stay focused at the task at hand, and that's finding ways to win hockey games. And sometimes the uh, you know stuff happens that that just changes uh, changes the dynamics of what's going on, or changes the schedule, and you can't let that stuff bother you. Daniel Eugene Bowman, The Athletic. Uh, good morning, Dave. Um, good morning. Uh, since you do want to focus on uh, on Calgary tonight, I mean, this is a, a pretty big game. you got a 10-point gap on them. If you can win in regulation, that's 12, and the games are kind of numbering down. And, of course, we talked about the COVID situation. So you sense that this is a really big opportunity for you guys tonight to really get into that playoff, uh, you know, the, the top tier here? Well, you, you know, every game, we talked about it all year, about big four-point games. And this is one, you know, you're – the teams that are ahead of you, you can always find a way to get motivated uh, to try to catch them. And the ones that are behind you, you got to stay motivated to to stay in front of them. So that being said, it's uh, Calgary's a rivalry game. We've, we've got some points on them, but we want to make sure that uh, we keep them behind us. So it's a huge game for us. I'm sure Calgary's thinking the same way and they're right. You've talked uh, a lot since you've come to Edmonton about not chasing games and, and getting out to, to good starts as any team wants to do. But with the way Calgary is set up with the new coach uh, and the way that they play, is it even more important now to get out to, to good starts so you're not chasing games against that team? Well, I think you could say that about every team. You know, if you team that gets out to a good start and if you can get a lead, it, it's, you play to your strengths. You make the other team open up a little bit. But uh you know, it, I'm, we're expecting a really tight game tonight. They're they're a desperate team, and we should uh, coming off our last game. We should be a desperate team, also. Drew Matheson, Post Media. A couple of things, Dave. Have you ever been a coach with a team where you got three goalies on your roster? You got Staylock there now. Yeah. And does this fall to your goalie coach to tell you, okay, we got to get this guy in a game? Well, we rely on, I rely on Dustin a lot when it comes to the goaltending stuff. He's, I mean, tactically and physically and just trying to get a feel for what each guy is doing is uh, he's really dialed into them. Now, that being said, it's, you know, we're, we're almost kind of in a playoff mode anyway. So, you know, you have three goalies around in, in, in the playoffs. So that's kind of the feel we have right now. Uh, Stalock's come in. He's, he's trying to get up to speed. He's working hard. Dustin's done a lot of work with him. So he comes on the roster today and we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. And in Ennis's case, he was the player who went on waivers. Was there any reasoning why it was him as opposed to somebody else? Mm, not, I mean, you're, we didn't want to lose anybody. So you're, you're just, you're trying to keep everybody need, but we needed fl a roster flexibility to get Staylock on. So it's, you're, uh, you know, I guess there's a number of guys you could pick, but it's, there's been a lot of things like that this year that has come down to roster flexibility and the taxi squad. And, and there's some, you know, there's some factors that come into it, I guess, but it's, it's just managing your roster as best you can. And right now we don't want to lose anybody, but we have to get Staylock on, uh, he, he comes off the non-playing, so somebody had to give us the flexibility to do that. Derek Van Dees, Post Media. Dave, when it comes to Staylock, do you, do you 
do you plan to to just to use him in a game when you go out east and and see what he can do, or is he just an emergency third guy for now? Yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Like he's he's slowly getting back up to speed, but you gotta you also gotta recognize he hasn't played this year yet. So we'll uh, we'll just kind of monitor it. Uh, I talk to Dustin every day about how he's doing. So we'll uh, we'll see where it goes and. You know, if we feel like there's an opportunity to get him in a game, we might do that. But I like what our two guys are doing right now. So we'll uh, we'll just kind of monitor game by game and see how it goes. And what does that do for the rotation in practice with, with guys maybe, you know, now a third guy kind of rotating in? Or is he kind of just still going to stick with the taxi squad for a little bit? Yeah, he, he gets the extra work with the taxi squad with Wells going down now. He'll get a lot of extra work there. You don't want to get out of a rhythm, and, and Stalock is a good pro. He recognizes the two guys that were here, um, you know, get the majority of reps in practice. He's That's just that's the role he's in, and uh, he he's, he's a real good pro. He accepts that role, but he's also got to get his work in, too, the, to make, him, make sure he's a, a ready, just like the other taxi squad guys are, so... Uh, Dustin does a real good job of that, making sure get everybody gets enough work that they are uh, they feel like they're confident they can play at any time. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Dave, is there any any update on, like I know James Neal was, you know, kind of been battling with post-COVID symptoms a little bit. Is, is he feeling back to where he should be feeling? No, he's, he's working hard in practice. He's trying to get himself back up to where he where he like to be so he's i give him credit he's working his butt off and, and uh he's available to play we just haven't selected him the last few games but he's he's available and uh, he's just got to keep working and when a chance comes he'll jump in and get going and uh, yesterday you talked about consistency with caleb jones and you know mm -hmm. kind of with and without the pocket can we dig into that a little bit more like you know some games is it is it his decisions with the puck is it defensive zone positioning what are the areas where you feel he's being a little too inconsistent well there's just there's some parts and it's you could say the inconsistency about every young defenseman or every defenseman period you know there's there's inconsistency i think we laggy was playing a real shutdown role a real defined role that's why we went with him for a while but we got to feel that we feel like we got to get caleb going too to see uh to get them up and playing, it's it's about trying to get everybody maximizing their their capabilities. And uh, Caleb's a, a, a puck mover that hopefully we can uh, get him up and going, maybe speed up our game a little bit. Um, so we're just every day we're evaluating where they are and and trying to find the best fits and making sure we got everybody trying to trying to get up to play their their up to the best they can and i recognize it's hard sometimes when a player's in for a game out for a game so we're we're you know we're trying to make sure that we have everybody up to speed but it's it's hard for for anybody you know let alone a young defenseman to come in and get going so we just feel like caleb tonight gives us maybe a little uh, extra jump with the puck and we'll see how it goes one more jason Gray. so so sorry just a follow-up to that you mentioned speed up your play we know that Barry and Nurse play a lot with McDavid. You have Baron Jones. They're both puck-moving guys. Is, is it fair to say you'd like to see them with the dry saddle line a little bit more tonight then? Well, we'll see how that goes. You know, with, with Russell and Larson, they'll play probably more of a penalty kill shutdown role. So we'll, we'll see how the game goes. Perfect. Thanks.